Hello Cancer, a very happy birthday to my son Cancers. This is your money and career guidance for the next four weeks with me, Julie Poole. Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, my lovely people, this is good for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. Use the energy, take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Check out the description box below for all the links to the cards, my books, my website, my other channel, um, and the um, equipment I use. A few of you have been asking, you know, what equipment. So we've got new, I've moved the office around as well. I haven't moved house yet, I just moved my office around so I can be in front of the window, get some better light. All right, let's bring the camera down then and see what's going on. We're going to have three, three, and three, all right? These are the um, energy oracle. Thank you so much for my cancers, please, for the next four weeks. Okay, money and career, we've got deceit. We've got angel of love. And we've got patience, interesting. Okay, right, let's find out some more. The fact that we've got patience, I like, because it means it's coming. All right, let's 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 get the tarot in. Hang on, let's get them center so we can see them a bit better. Thank you so much. This is the tarot dreams, okay. For my cancers, money and career, please. Money and career, thank you. All right. We've got the Palace of Wands, <clears throat> excuse me, Justice. Oh, with the High Priestess. The Hanging Man, a lot of major arcana guards going on. Five of Coins and the Three of Wands. Oh, this looks good. This looks lovely. Okay, these are mine from Hoping to Having. New deck is uh, available now. Haven't got mine yet, hasn't arrived yet. It's a gold one. Um, this is the general deck from Hoping to Having, and the new deck is specifically Wealth and Success, Money and Career. Okay, uh, hopefully it'll be here sometime this week, so you'll see it next time. Okay, Cancer, the most appropriate affirmation right now for you is I am proud of me. Mm. I am proud of me. Can you pause for a minute? Whatever you're doing, washing the dishes, going for a walk, just pause, take a deep breath and then say it if you can out loud. I am so proud of me. I am proud of me. All right. It's a lovely, lovely energy. All righty. Okay. Let me just grab a mouthful of coffee. I've got a tickle a minute. Hang on. What have you got? I've got a kind of cold black coffee here, half a cup. Somebody commented the other day, what's with you always asking, you know, get yourself a cup of tea or coffee? I like for us to have a little chat over a cup of tea. I think it's nice. It's the way I work. If it annoys you, go and watch somebody else. Most of you like it. Oh, we got two of them. We were only going to have one, but you've got two. That's all right. It's your birthday season. You're allowed extra. Okay, we've got weight and we've got healing and we've got patience. <laughs> I can hear you groaning. I know you don't want to wait. I know you don't want to wait. But when we wait for the right stuff at the right time, it is actually faster. You know the story of the tortoise and the hare? You know, the hare was racing ahead and then so cocky, took a little nap and the tortoise comes along really slowly and wins the race. Okay, when we rush ahead, they're giving me that saying, uh, what is it? Something where fools treat, where fools fear to tread? Yes, thank you. Okay. We jump in when either we're not quite ready or circumstances are not quite ready. It's usually a disaster and we've got to redo it, which takes longer than if we just waited. That's what they're asking me to tell you. All right. I know it's groany. I want to just get on with it. But they're saying, wait, wait, it's not the right time. The universe is working on it. Trust in divine timing. Healing is taking place. Be easy on yourself and open your heart. All right. So that's the guidance coming in from spirit. All right. We're going to put healing under there. We are also healing this. I am proud of me. Are you proud of you, Cancer? Because if you're not, then, you know, it's difficult to align with that energy of other people being proud of you and wanting to know you. It starts with you. Be the source of that which you wish to see. So be proud of you, okay? Now, we've got justice right in the middle of your deck. 
of your reading, which I really like. We've got one, two, three major arcana cards out of six. So half is quite significant. Angel of love and angel of patience. This is not an angel deck. This is the energy deck, energy oracle. There's a few angels in there and you I think there are seven. You've got two out of three. So there's a lot of angelic energy around you in terms of your money and career, helping you to move forward. So the main energy is this one in the middle, the justice card. Justice, balance, fairness, equilibrium, bringing things into balance, legal matters, contracts. It's all really good. This is justice. Justice is mine. All right. So that justice is coming in from a place of love, angel of love. When we come at anything from an energy of uh, hostility, if it's a legal, because this could be a legal battle, all right, a legal matter, this could be a financial settlement or you're suing somebody or this is a divorce settlement. When we come at it from a place of love rather than desperation or hostility, we bring it into this beautiful balance, right? So let's start here then with this deceit card. So the deceit, that'd be the devil card, all right, or the seven of swords. Um, deceit, deception, being, you know, having the world pulled over your eyes, sometimes from other people and circumstances. You know, you've gone into a job where it promised you the earth and it delivers nothing. It promises you a pay rise. It promises you a promotion. It promises you a bonus and you don't get any of them. This can also be you deceiving yourself. I know. Don't shoot the messenger, but we all do it. I can convince myself black is white when it serves me. And it usually doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, we, we can get into that energy of, you know, one of the, the, the biggest energy they're saying is you convince yourself it's all right, really. It's all right. Really. Yeah, I'm all right. And it's like, hell no, you're not all right. Admit it. Because until you admit it, until you face it, until you own it, nothing's going to change. So let's actually examine, am I all right? Do I like my job? Do I like my life? Is it in balance? Am I happy? Am I healthy? Is everything all right? Um, or am I convincing myself it's all right? I don't like to moan. I don't like to groan. Now, I love positivity. You know me. I'm an incredibly positive person. But there's a difference with being positive and toxic positivity. Toxic positivity is when you are completely ignoring all the bad stuff and just convincing yourself that it's all right, really. If you're in a toxic, abusive marriage, you say, that's all right. No, it's not. It's not all right. If you're in a job where it's horrible, it's not all right. So let's own it, all right? The reason that we, if this is a protective mechanism that we do this, this is my therapist hat on, okay? We tell ourselves it's all right as a defense mechanism because we don't quite know how we could possibly change it. So there's no point admitting how unhappy I am because then I'm just gonna feel even worse. That's actually not true. It comes from a place of disempowerment. I have no power to change anything, so I'll just accept it for what it is and tell myself that it's all right. That is not true. That is the deceit. That is your ego saying to you, you have no power whatsoever, so don't even go there. And the hanging man is saying, can we surrender this, please? Can we look at it? from a different perspective? Can we hand this over to God, the universe? Can we hand it over to our higher self and say, show me my truth? That's the thing with justice. This is about truth. Show me my truth. What is the real truth in this situation? Let's examine it upside down and inside out, which is why I'm being asked to wait. Why I need to wait? Because I could be going for a job here that on the surface looks shiny, 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 and is going to be a complete disaster because it's all fake. So let's just wait. Let's examine everything from a different perspective 
and then we can say actually that's not going to be the right thing for me to go into or actually this is the thing I do definitely need to leave and then I can go forward in the right way taking the right steps so we are being asked to examine the hanging man is two main energies surrender hand it over and perspective examine things when we look at things upside down inside out they look quite different so let's have a really good look at anything this could be investments as well all right you could be having a realtor telling you your your house is worth you know 20 percent more than it is worth in order to get your business uh, have a good look at that go and have a look what other similar properties are selling for on your street and say why is my realtor telling me that this is going to be 20% more they're lying all right go and have a look at all of that and for some of you this is related because we've got palace of wands in the middle palaces of places environments um, and the palace of wands is a place where you are in your passion your enthusiasm your fire you are um, empowered this could be job or home all right, so we're looking at this about my home, which is why I brought up about the realtors or the estate agents. Are they convincing you that you're going to get more than it's actually worth? Or are they telling you it's too cheap in order to get a fast sale because they want the commission and it's actually undervalued? Have a look at that if that's about your home. If this is about a job that you're applying for, have a really good look at the company, their mission statement, their values, examine it, drill down. If this is about your current company promising you uh, rewards that are not coming, have a really good look and then make the decision. I'm looking for something else, okay? So the angel of love is saying we're bringing love into the situation to bring the balance in. And love is about truth. It's about patience no judgment it's trust it's so many things isn't it so when we bring the love into the justice the balance the fairness and the empowerment what is fair and what is not am i being underpaid undervalued um do my company that my job or my situation do they make me feel that they're proud of me, that they're proud to have me work in their company. This card, five of coins in a money reading is saying lack. I haven't got enough money or I haven't got enough support or I haven't got enough recognition or all three. Am I being underpaid, undervalued and not seen? Am I in victim mode? Because that's the five of coins too, victim mode. We don't wanna be in victim mode because that just brings more things to be victimized about. So even if I have been deceived, I could be, you know, this could be legal, um, uh, what's the word, um, uh, results of deceit. You know, you're suing your company, um, you're suing somebody else. Um, so if you, this, yeah, they're also saying divorce potentially, that you've been deceived by your partner and you do feel left out in the cold. Right, but we're going to bring love into the situation saying, I don't need their love, I don't need their, um, I don't need them, period. I'm just bringing love into the situation, into myself. But I'm going to be patient about it. I don't expect it to turn around overnight. If I'm realizing I've been deceived and I want to move on, it might take me a few months to find another job or the right thing or the right realtor. I'm going to find it a few days, few weeks, few months, but I'm going to be patient and wait for the right, <clears throat> excuse me, the right person or situation to come my way because I'm ready to expand. We've got the high priestess with the three of wands. The high priestess is what you, you, what you can't see. It's your intuition. It's the feeling, all right? We can't see a feeling. We feel a feeling. So let's feel the feelings from a place of loving, compassion and patience because I'm ready to expand I'm ready to grow. This is my ships coming in. My ships are coming. This is success and victory, isn't it? All right, this is things balancing up. This is me moving on. The three of wands is moving on into better times, easier times, more expansive times, more exciting times. 
but it's not all happening right now. We've got to put the right things in place. We need to wait until we are in the right time and you'll know it'll just boof, you'll just feel it, right? That might be today, it might be tomorrow, it might be next week, but it's moving towards that and healing is taking place because when we realize that we've been deceived or we're deceiving ourselves, then we need to heal that because we'll jump into judgment. You know, I've been so stupid. I should never have listened to them. And we blame ourselves. and we, that's got to be healed, okay? That's got to be healed. And then we might blame them and we're full of hostility and that's got to be healed because it just all holds you stuck. So we're going to become aware and then we're going to step into this, I'm proud of me. And then we're going to step into the, I need to heal this before I move on. Because if I haven't healed it, I'm taking with me into the future a whole load of toxicity around this and I don't want to do that. I want to leave that baggage behind because I'm ready sitting on the dock of the bay for my ship to come in and I want to be clean and fresh and balanced, ready. All right? Okay. Let's get final messages from the angels, the oracle of the angels, the eternal light of love and letting go. All right, now we've got love here twice. The eternal light of love and letting go with justice in the middle. For a lot of you, this is about a divorce. So I just need to get some water. Okay, thank you. Okay, a lot of you, this is about a divorce, um, leaving a partnership leaving a business partnership as well, like divorcing, dissolving a business partnership. You know, your partner promised they were going to invest, they were going to do this and they haven't. You're ready to go it without them. You're ready to go it alone. You're ready to let go of whatever this was. All right. From a place of love, you're moving forward now and your ships are coming in. All right. So, that is what I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing day, week, and I'll be back in a couple of weeks, mid-months, with your um, second half of July uh, general tarot guidance. And for now, this is and has been your Money and Career Reading. Have a great day. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, a share, and all that lovely good stuff, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.